the design of the steel structures, Eurocode 3 is being used. With that, let me introduce you with the series of the Eurocodes. There are about 10 parts of the Eurocode, from Eurocode 0 to Eurocode 9. Eurocode 0 gives the basis of the structural design. Eurocode 1 provides details of the actions. Eurocode 2 is meant for the RC design. And Eurocode 3 is meant for the steel structures. What you see here is the Eurocode family here. They are designed in the systematic manner where there is no repetitions in terms of the code and the designs. As far as the steel structures is concerned, Eurocode 3 is being used and the Eurocode 3 needs to be used together with Eurocode 1 for the actions. Okay, it is all on the basis of the structural design in Eurocode 0. And within the Eurocode 3, there are six main parts which cover the generate rules, bridge, towers, silos, piles, and crane supporting structures. For the common applications, we are using Eurocode 3 part 1 more extensively. This covers the general rules of the design of the structural steel. And then within the Eurocode 3 part 1, there are 12 subparts covering different scopes of the design, which in these chapters, we're going to focus more on the general rule, plate elements, and also the joints. The general rules are normally used for the design of beams and columns. For the joints and connections, we refer to the part 8. And for the plate girder design, we refer to the part 5. You know that the Eurocode 3 is actually used for the design of the steel structures, which is on basis of the limit state design principles. And the design rules is very similar to BS5950. It is noted that BS5950 is no longer being used. It is replaced by the Eurocode 3 as the latest technical code for the design of the steel structures. There will be no updates for the BS5950. So with that, Eurocode 3 has already superseded the BS5950. It is said that Eurocode 3 is actually more economical than the BS5950, which in terms of the factors of safety, as well as the methods used to analyze the actions acting on the structures.